Good afternoon. And here we are back again for something a little different. Um, this morning I was talking about one of the things I need to do on this project, in my Valakian project, is to um, get some allies, some Polish allies. So I've got a huge pile of, actually let's zoom this out. I got a huge pile of poles. There we go. That I need to pick certain units out of them. And I figured, well, what the heck? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this live. But it's probably wise that I go ahead and connect this. So we don't lose juice, even though I got lots of juice right now. But I always want to stay connected when you can. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. And we can dive into pole vaulting. There you go. Yeah. Oh, geez. What's wrong with this? There we go. Got my rubber stuck. Got one of those rubber seals around the case. There we go. All right. Let's see. Shoot, we could do it like this. Uh, nope, this way and this way. Okay. And let's mess with the camera controls. Okay, let's give that a shot. So, um, so what kind of poles am I looking for? Well, they're an ally for uh, the Moldavians. Okay, and um, and well, technically, you wouldn't know that unless you looked at the DBM M books. But the poles uh, have a knight general, which is what they have to take. They're going to have to take a knight general. And they can either take a second knight as the most common unit or a cavalry. So either one. And then they have a choice of any of those particular items or another light horse, which is unlikely. Um, a fast blade, there's an option. An eight crossbowman, probably not going to take an eight crossbowman. And, uh, or a war wagon. So I can see picking a fast blade, a war wagon, and... I have to take two knights, maybe a third knight. So let me write myself a note here. That's what we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for three knights, um, one fast blade, one war wagon, uh, and potentially um, some cavalry up to two, because you got to take a knight as the ally. So that's basically what I need to find for these guys, is all of these, all of those particular items, okay? So that's what we're going to be looking for. Good evening, Mr. Patriot. Very unusual for me to catch you from the beginning of your stream. Oh, good morning to you. <laughs> mm. All right, so here we have... And I don't know what, what kind of resolution this is. I wish I could make this better. Can I do better? Autofocus doesn't necessarily help. What is this? Okay, well, this looks a heck of a lot better. Oh, this must be just a... Ah, that must be like a picture so I can make a thumbnail on it. Ah, to see. Now, what about this? Actually, brightness, automatic exposure, lock, offset, volume, does this, like that. Mm, no, I don't think I could do anything on that. This is as good as it's going to get. That's as good as it's going to get. So, here we got this big pile of, of poles. And um, so that's what we're looking for. We're looking for three nights a fast blade and a war wagon. All right. Um, so here were some of the knights I was talking about that um, 
that you don't see very often. They're made by Falcon, Falcon Miniatures, which are no longer in production, I think. Um, it was an English brand, as I understand it, and it was sold to a gentleman called Kai Weaver. And he brought, came to one of the shows here in Florida, and I think that's where I picked these guys up. Um, and these actually are a kind of a hard alloy. So even though this lance is kind of bendy, uh, and it's this is not a lance you want to replace because it has... No, it's going to come out better on this. It has... Uh, it's tapered. Okay, so this is a, uh, a helm with the helmet, and it's like the right period of knights. Because I've got some knights in here that aren't going to really work for the period. All right, because we're looking basically in the early 1400s to late 1400s. Anything earlier than 1400s, we're not really interested in doing any of the um, of any Polish knights. And there's going to be some knights in here that are going to fall into that category. So we need to sort them out. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is let's go to the knights and make sure that we don't have uh, any that are too early for the list here. So these are the Falcon ones, and they actually come in two different poses. They have them charging with a lance, and they have a lance upright. And they have a similar style helmet. They have a horse with the, with the barding on it. And, um, and they are a pretty a hard alloy, but... Um, Kyle Weaver came to one of our shows in Florida once and I picked up some stuff from him and he disappeared off the face of the earth. I, I'm friends with him on Facebook and I've tried to email him a couple of times and I think he had some issues with his, someone in his family and it was health issues and was trying to deal with that. And I'm not sure if he's out of the, out of the, um, out of the business or not, but anyhow, these guys are Falcon, um, Let's, let's just go through here and see what we're looking for. Here's an example of some poles I can't use for this army. Ah, good. The Russians are back. <laughs> All right. This is some examples of some Essex figures I can, I'm not able to use. Now, these are actually some pretty cool looking figures. Um, but I'm not able to use these guys because they are just an earlier period. So, um, they've got different helms, bigger shields, that kind of stuff. I could use them, mix them in, make it look really interesting. I don't think I'm going to go in with the, with that intention right off the bat. Okay. So, uh, what do we got in this pile? This is, okay, this is Eastern Generals. We don't need that right now. That's those poles we just pulled out. Here are more of these poles from from I, I thought they were the I thought they were the soft I thought they were the soft lances they're not they're the hard ones that's excellent if they're the soft ones I'd just I'd be tempted just to replace them all let's put these guys in here we're definitely going to be using some of these but there's only two poses in here so I'd hate to make two stands with only two poses in them especially since these guys are kind of futile and um, you'd want to have all kinds of different poses for them. And, and these are the Moldavians. I didn't show you guys these before. This is what we're going to be using as the Moldavians we have. This is, the, this is the Knight General stand in this army. Mr. Collins, welcome. Okay, so we got one guy. Well, I hadn't decided which one of these two guys. We got one guy that's going to be looking to the right. And we got two guys that are looking to the I'm sorry, one guy, two guys are looking to the right, one guy looking to the left. I'm looking at it backwards. And um, this guy has complete plate mail, so does him, and he's got chain at the top. So I may end up just using one of these, one of each of these, just for variety. And, um, you know, they'll go on horses that don't have any, any coverings on them. Here's the three that it came with. Um, but I'm going to have a general for the other one. And this is the closest guy I have to an Eastern general. This guy right here, he's not exactly what I'd want. So we're going to temporarily just kind of uh, put them in here, but we en may end up replacing him with somebody else. But it, of course, that means we'll have to do a purchase. So I'm not real keen on doing that. Um, and then one of those two other guys that, that go with them will end up turning into, into a flag bearer. 
because uh, you can't have a general if, and you're not going to have a flag with them. Not in my book. Okay, so um, other stuff. Where's the pile of things that won't be? All right, let me go ahead and grab this bag, and this is going to be the, the, the pile of things that won't be. All right, that's the Falcon ones. These are earlier Polish knight as, knights as well. They've got the type of helms that either have stuff on top of them, like a um, eagle or some something like that. So we won't be using those either. Not in this army. Not for these allies. Come on, stay open. There you go. All right, what do we got in here? We've got some. These are some almost like Lithuanian style guys. Hello from the South Pole. <laughs> Those won't be the case either. Actually, sorting through here, speaking of Falcon, I picked up some other Falcon stuff here. Let me show you some of this stuff, especially since these guys aren't available before. I probably have enough figures to do a Lithuanian army. Um, there's actually a lot going on with these figures. They've got a... Man, I wish it could come up sm smoother than that. And... Uh, you know, these guys have a ton of light horse and a bunch of light horse to dismount as bows. I don't have any of the dismounts, so I'd have to buy the dismounts. But I've got all of... And these guys got a lot going on. I mean, they got a spear. They're a really hard alloy. They got they got a spear, a bow case, saber, little buckler style shield. Uh, not really a buckler, kind of a in-between size. So I got a pack of those. I got some other Lithuanians, also from Chariot. Not from Chariot, also from Falcon. Have you take a look at these guys. Shooting a bow. These all the same pose? Yeah. So four of these, four of the other ones, that's eight. I mean, they have a lot of light horse. I don't remember how exactly how many they have, but... Then we have Lithuanians. What'd you miss? I don't know. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. We got Lithuanians here from Essex. Okay, so that's guys you can interview us. Another eight. What do we got to? Twelve. That's six stands of light horse. Yeah, I got I got tons of Lithuanians here. But I don't have any of the dismounted guys. And, you know, I feel... I feel dirty. I feel dirty... Building an army that's Light Horse that dismounts his bow. Light Horse should dismount his soy. It shouldn't dismount his bow. It just seems wrong. And here's some other Light Horse. Also from Falcon. And some other Lithuanians, also from Essex. So I probably have enough Lithuanians there, put the Lithuanian pile there, to do all the light horse for them. So to be continued. All right, here is some more uh, Falcon of those same type knights. So we got a lot of those, but there's only two poses in there. So like I said, if I'm going to build three stands of knights, that's nine figures. So... Um, I don't, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to build nine figures of, uh, of knights and there's only in two different poses. So um, if that's as far as I can get, and I really don't know without going in here, if that's as far as I'm going to get, it's likely that I'll probably take some of those earlier ones and mix them in just for variety. Even though it's not perfect time-wise, it's going to look better, I think as a whole. All right, let's see what we got over here. These are, um, we got some Polish crossbowmen. I'm not gonna build the eight crossbowmen for, for the allies, but um, eight crossbowmen, eight crossbowmen, just a bunch of crossbowmen. Don't want a unit that ends up taking casualties. Oh, there's two of my kills on me. All right, this is some old glory guys, and I think these are Poles. You're working on a Gazgan army right now. 
that the one with Jar Jar Binks? No, I, I every time I see Gazgan, that's what I think of. What was he, Gung, Gungan or something like that? I think these Axemen are Poles. I could be wrong. No, maybe they're Koreans. I have to look and see what they are. Anyways, maybe they're not Polish. Let's put these guys away. I got these from, I want to say I got these from Rick Cundiff. He's like, hey, here's some extra figures if you want. We're going we're gonna to have to look these guys up before we're convinced of where exactly they go in. Because I do have some other, I do have some other poles from the Renaissance range by uh, Old Glory. And these have, have mighty, I'm really looking for the Essex uh, Axemen. They, they're just kind of relaxing on their little axes and they're kind of, that's, I think I've got a pack of those somewhere in here. So uh, that's one of my things I want to look for. If not, we're going to move these axemen off. We haven't decided for sure on these, so we'll move them over here. And uh, all right, let's, let's dig deep and see what we find. Okay, and there's, what in the hell is in here? Let's, oh, there's a shitload of Renaissance stuff in there. All right. Man, we got a lot of comments here. Okay, let's see. You like those orange archers working gas moves fair? You and your obscure armies. Knights of St. John. Yeah, Knights of St. John. That's a heavy Saloy army. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. This I believe this is Renaissance Poles. So we may be putting these guys right back in the same place where they were. And um, these are figures I think that Marty gave me. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Okay, so here we've got... Pancherni, okay, which are Renaissance like cavalry guys, so they're not the they're not the Polish lancers, so those really wouldn't be appropriate. Here's more Pancherni. These are the old Mike's models that were carried by Essex, and uh, they're now. Um, can someone correct me here? Or all the army list in the 3.0 book? They are. They certainly are. And this is Polish uh, wing lancers. Look, look at these minifigs, guys. These guys are really cool. Minifigs, uh, Polish lancers. But these are like late 1500s, early 1600s figures. I don't think. I just wanted to make sure these guys aren't in here. Here's other guys with pistols. What's in here? Here are some foot guys that are like the command, wing hussars. It's what I expected. I won't be able to use any of this stuff. I could and just said, you know, oh, these are from the wrong period. But I just wanted to check. Interested in three kingdom Chinese. I would have already built that army if they would have made figures for them a lot sooner. Too late now. I've got too many other figures. I'm a big fan of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms and that whole um, Dynasty Warriors video games. I've played a lot of them and all of that fake lore. and I like that stuff. Lu Bu and Cao Cao and all that stuff. Fun movie about the Polish Wars of the Turks is Fire and Sword. I saw it a long time ago. All right. We've got some Polish knights here with crests. More Polish knights. And these actually a little bit better than those later ones that I just put away with the big shield. So we're probably going to mix some of these in. And these are also covered in horse trappings. All right, here we go. And I got to be careful because some of these guys I'm going to want to use. Um, big fan of Romance of the Three Kingdoms as well. Who's your favorite character from that? Or who's your favorite uh, of the Three Kingdoms? I always like Shuhan. I always like Shuhan. The good guys. Or the gooder guys. And the video games are in green. That's what I would have done. I'd probably just paint them how they are in the video game. The green in the video game, uh, way is blue, and um, 
and Wu is red. Um, okay, this is horses. All right, what are these foot guys doing here? Because these guys don't look like they belong anywhere at all. Oh, you know what? This could probably work as the front rank in the eight. That's probably what it is. This is the front rank in those eight crossbowmen stands. These Polish foot. All right. Put them, let's put them away. Let's put them away. Um, all right. Yeah, these are... These are these are guys I could be using for the uh, my Hungarians because I need to make some um, I need to make some some knights that are not deep for the Hungarians and this is this actually would work as a pole as well um, for that period. Okay. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. This is this Polish style of this later one, okay? This is also the same kind. This is a different helmet. It's earlier. That's a little def different earlier. That's a little different earlier. This guy has a crest. I'm not thrilled about using that guy. Not because I don't like crest, but just... See, here's a guy that's broken. So we'll have to replace him with a, an actual other lance which is okay i don't have a problem doing that and some horses that are covered in cloth all right let's take all the horses that are covered in cloth and put them in here okay what's in this bag all right these this is another night that is similar. See, it's the problem with Essex. Some of their alloy is just too darn soft. So before I messed with this guy, I would just replace his. I just replace his lance, so I don't have a problem going down the road later. Look at this. Look at this big cockatoo type. I'm sorry, it doesn't come up clearer than that. I mess with it, and let's see. What if I? Did this. No. Anyhow. Cockatoo type crest. Here's some of these earlier ones. But even though they're earlier, they have the same style of the smaller shields. So I think I'm probably going to mix them in just so we have some variety. Uh, more horses. Oh, these aren't cut. These don't have um, tarping. Okay, that might be. I'm sure we'll probably mix some in. In with that. Where Where did those other horses go? There, got it. Uh, what do we got here? Do, do, do. Lou Bay, Red Cliff, favorite character. Lou Bay. You play any of the games? It's funny. I've played so many of the games, like I know who the characters are. And, you know, of course, they're, you know, they're exaggerated and everything. So when you go and watch the movie where they're not as exaggerated, you don't know who, 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 who is. Who, who is? Who is who? You don't know who is who. But, um, oh, I got plenty of these knights now that I could use for the uh, Hungarians. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, that's good. More horses. I love doing this, by the way. Um, oh, horses are over here. More knights. And these are all... I'm pretty sure I got all these from the horse trade. They got, they got me the Valachians as well. Here's another crested helm. These are all the Lydians. Got rid of the Lydians and... Another crested helm. Another crested helm. Almost like a Polish sugar loaf. I've seen I've seen this helm before. And last bag.
another crested helm. Yep, all these guys are more varieties of the same thing, and these guys are all non barding What's over here? Lithuanians are there. All right. I'm going to take all these over here and put all the Lithuanians together. I'm going to build a later Polish army too, but damn, that, damn, if that thing's not all mounted. The only foot they can have, I believe, is... They can have a fast blade. I thought I had a little fast blade, dude. They may be somewhere else. I don't think they would be, but I'm pretty sure I have them. But they're probably in one of the other medieval bags. We're not going to dig for them right now. That, that could be a, a crusade of sorts. Okay, so we needed what? Cavalry. I don't have the cavalry figures. I don't have the uh, the cavalry guys, which would be mounted with crossbows. I, I don't need to get them, you know. Um, they're not important enough to where I have to get them. So um, nine figures, and these guys have a similar shield. So these guys that have the these falcon guys with the small shields are really similar to these shields. Similar-ish enough. So what we're gonna do is, we need nine of, this, nine of the figures, right? So how many different poses? We got two poses here. We got one of these, that's three poses. And I don't really wanna use the guys with these heavy crests. Um, they're a little too late. So that's one, two, three. This is a fourth pose. I want to say there was a second one in here that didn't have a crest. No, looks like there isn't. Okay, so it looks like there's four. So basically two of every figure to get a good mix. All right, so two charging guys. Two guys with their lances up. Uh, two of these. Two of these sugar loaf guys. And then one oddball. No, it's the same figure. We'll do one of these guys with a crest. Some guy's not up to date and he's got old equipment. Okay. Yeah, because there's three stands. The other way I can do it is this is on one, that's on one stand and one odd ball. No, this is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, this is good. All right. And, um, right. So let's just take the rest of this stuff and bottle it all together. Now this It's fine, all these guys being together in one. Now these Essex figures, unfortunately, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna have to replace the lances. I think they're just, I think they're just too bendy. I don't wanna get them done and then all of a sudden find out that they got bendy ass lances and I'm gonna have to fix them. Okay, and um, put these guys away as well. These are the Moldavians. Um, yeah. Uh, these are the caparisoned horses. There's all the war wagon stuff over here. Yes and no. I got two war wagons from Old Glory. They're from the they're from the Polish range. I think it's no, it's one. It's one covered wagon. Oh, 
I may not. I may not use this one because I want both of the... If I eventually end up building the later Polish army, I'd like both of the war wagons to be the same style. All right, let me put, let me go grab the stuff that I put away earlier before we started this, uh, before we started the show. I thought there was two in here. There's actually one wagon in the cover. Aha. So in here we have, here's, here's those early, earlier poles. Crossbowmen. Crossbowmen. Some weird foot, which I can't make up. These, these are other crossbow. Those guys actually shouldn't be in there. I'm not going to go dig them up right now. And here's even some other knights. How did they get... Polish crossbowmen... Horses. What? What is this? Oh, even more knights. Oh, why didn't they? Why didn't they pull them out? We won't. We won't be doing like a four-hour session. This is just like, oh, well, I gotta do this stuff. Well, shit. Let's turn on the camera and see what happens. Right. I'm Polish, and when I was in the army, I was in a cavalry unit. That kind of makes me win hussar. It, only air, if you're air cavalry. <laughs> everybody likes the everybody likes the wing hussars. Everybody. All right, I don't know what these guys are. I actually am thinking they're actually Koreans. I'd have to look them up. We're gonna put them in the. Rather not use this war wagon. I have I've got I had a whole bunch of wagons this morning. I was messing with them. Are they in here? They're in here. Right. Here's some irregular miniatures wagons. But I think these are more like for the Hussites. They actually have like a port there for a cannon gun to go in. So these are some of the replacement war wagons I got from. Um... Oh, who are those folks out? Um... Alternative armies. This is like a weird minifigs wagon. I want two wagons that are the same, and I know that they're in here somewhere. RXC-11, RXC-11, here's more of the alternative armies, here's handgunners, here's handgunners, all right, that's the two, that's the two I was thinking about, RXC-11. And I'm going to wait on the Axemen, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain I've got those Essex Axemen, the Polish Axemen, um, if not, we can use these old glory ones. The thing is, is these old glory ones are from an almost a later period. All right, so let's look and see what we got in an RXC-11. RXC-11 war wagon pack. Let's see what the hell is in here. All right, we got four horses. Throw them off to the side. Um, the undercarriage, which I guess would go. Let's straighten this thing out. And let's grab a 40 by 40 stand. I've got one of those around here. Well, now I have a new container that my stand is still in, so it should be easier to find one. All right. Because I don't base war wagons on 40 by 80. I, they, they, they create weird isms that happen when you contact them. You have this huge frontage, but yet you, only one guy can fight them on each side. It's just really annoying. Um, 
Well, this is interesting. They have two different size wheels. Okay, so the big wheels gotta go in the back. Okay, big wheel in the back, got it. Probably fit. And then the little wheels fit in the front. So they've got the, the little blocking like this protecting and then you got guys that sit inside now guys that sit inside are a different pack I've got I could use crossbowmen I also have these guys with handguns now these are just like some of the Hungarian guys I used that have uh, a helmet with a slit in them I'd be more tempted to use these guys here that are bearded and have fur caps on them and I have one, two, are they all the same pose, the fur cap guys? Three, I only have three of them there. How many are in this pack? Alternative armies are my people. Yeah, I, don't ha I have nothing bad to say. Okay, this is a different pose. Okay, so let's get all these furry cap dudes. Oh, they were all in one pack, all right? All the furry cap dudes. All the furry cap dudes. And these, all in one pack. And what I've, di what I've done before is, this fits on here, and I will cut about right here so it does not extend past the side of the war wagon because I don't want to do one with the horses and the horses can be used for a camp or something else that's what I did with the Hungarian war wagons and I was really happy with them so uh, yeah so these this will go all back in I could use crossbowmen guys in here I don't know if they used firearms or not the crossbow guys because there's crossbow stands that can be used for them and these are the hand gunners they were eastern and western so the western guys have the helmets eastern guys have the little hats these two packs even though i'm only going to build one of them for the time being for the poles go here okay moldavians here knights all right let's look at these other knights that we have these are other empty horses and gunners got it okay let's see what we got in here this is foot it shouldn't have come out all right what is this these are even more knights okay so we have even more uh, this is a different pose these are almost more German I don't know why the I don't know why it's so damn blurry on the screen. There's even more guys in this in this same pose. I guess I have a ton of them. Okay, I've seen Polish knights with this type of helmet before in pictures. Okay, so these are, that's a good candidate. How many of those do we got? Two, three. All right, let's replace this crested guy with one of them. And let's replace another one with, okay. That should be good. Is 
later polls. And I'm not worried about making a command stand because they're going to be for allies, so there's no point in using a Polish commander because in the game it doesn't behave like a commander. Um, there's no point in doing that. That just adds confusion. You put a Polish general out there, he's going to have one hell of a large flag. And uh, finally start building... Po well, I'm sorting them. They're going to look awesome. I guarantee they're going to look awesome. I guarantee they're going to look awesome. I could have just done this. There we go. Um, all right, what the hell's in here? Those crossbowmen, they're not, I'm not, I won't be using them for the time being. What's in here? Even more knights, these guys have lances sticking out. We're not going to mess with that. That just gets in the way of other folks. What are these? These are these poles with these huge, they're like carrying like a freaking door. Look at these, look at these guys. These are definitely cool folks. Look at these guys. Almost like a, they have a metal witch hat. They're on a witch hunt and they're hunting you. I think they're a little earlier. We're not going to use them right now. We build a later Polish army. We'll mix them in the army. I think we're good with this selection for the three stands of the knights. I don't have any cavalry figures, so I won't build the cavalry. Odds are I probably, they probably need punch anyways, so. That's the guys that have the lances out. Crossbowmen, crossbowmen. Horses. That's these wagons. This is definitely a Polish wagon. Maybe we'll use that for a camp for the poles. I think that's it. So then it's a matter of uh, it's a matter of um, finding out what horses we're going to put these guys on. nice to get different horses for each one of them okay, this is the same as that one so let's not use him uh, this is a pompous pose uh, this is the same as that one how many do we need one two three four five we need five no, we don't have to use repeat guys I'd like to use ones that are This is one of those horse poses I don't like. It's like a horse that's ashamed to be there. I know he's just got, he's got an itch. Ah, we could throw him in. What's one weird po po horse posed dude? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Cool. I'm pretty sure I've got those axemen somewhere. Or I'm imagining things, which is quite possible. But I gotta see because if I'm not really happy with this Moldavian commander, not this guy, if I'm not really happy with this guy as a Moldavian commander, I'm gonna need to get some. And at that point, I might as well grab a um, Order the Axemen from Essex. I mean, if you got to order one pack, you might as well order two. The shipping's going to be the same. So, at least the shipping is down quick where you can get them in a week. You know. This guy's kind of a little a little Turkish looking. That's the only thing. This comes from a pack of Eastern generals. 
So it's a nice figure. There's nothing wrong with the figure. I just don't think that he looks very Moldavian because he's got studded armor when the Moldavians actually have either chain or plate. So I'm not convinced of that. And um, to be continued. All right, so these four are definitely going. These five look like they're definitely going. Let's clean these guys up. And let's grab stands and epoxy these or glue these guys down. So they'll, they'll be ready to go when it's time to do that. I wanted to work on stuff, but I needed a break from painting because I've painted a lot in the last couple days. And I was dying to get in here and look at these figures. I'm trying to find ones that are don't have a lot of glue residue on them. himself in the buying miniatures yeah if I need them you know I want to get the right guys but I'm not going to buy them until I have to and I'm not going to be like well let me get these other guys since I'm paying for shipping I said no just take it in the wow that took that completely right off okay that side's almost new and this side's new and this side doesn't have much on it Yep, that side's new. Okay. So I posted some pictures on the Facebook pages there of DBA, of the stuff that we worked on this weekend with the Saloy and everything. And I even tried it from my phone and my wife's phone and the pictures got dumbed down, as I like to say, when I post them on there. So they have a certain resolution, and then when they get posted, the resolution is crummy. So I'm really disappointed that I'm not able to show them to you, and they look like they look like to me. But I guess that's just one of those things. Hopefully I don't have to do something super detailed because I just have my corrective glasses. I've got my contacts in, so I need to get in and look at something really, really close. I'm not going to be able to do it with this setup. But I think I should be okay being able to clean this figures up and so forth. All right. Computer's over there, so let's blow that way. All right, put that away. Exact amount of time. You must save your picture as a PNG before upload to Facebook. Okay. I'll try that. See, that's the thing. I'm not a techie guy, you know? Uh, and the reason I'm not a techie guy is, uh, ah, good. You, Another Polish guy. Hey, look, it's your people here. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and take my contacts out. Hold on one second. I'll be right back.
Okay. Now I can see. Now I can see up close. Now I can see up close really well. All right. I don't think we're gonna need to grind on this. I think these are gonna be. The problem with SX horses is their bases are really, really small. So, um, by the way, this view you guys are seeing from up ahead, let me know if you prefer that on the small view than what I normally show, because we can do that instead. So that, th that's up to you guys. Um, unfortunately, the resolution is kind of garbage, but maybe you'll prefer to see that. Let me know. This is not the good exact knife. The good exact knife is this one, or the good blade. PNG. Well, we'll try it again. We'll try to re-upload that stuff with PNG. Because the one picture that was taken of the... I have one picture I uploaded there with the pictures of the light horse taken from my wife's phone. And the freaking ground coverage looks awesome. And you look at it in the other picture and it's like, you can't see Jack. All right, that horse is ready to go. This guy, these guys don't have a whole lot of flash. Essex figures normally don't have a lot of flash. I don't know why, maybe they redo the molds or what have you, because you know they crank a ton of them out. And they've been around for a few years. Guy balances fairly well. Where is my... This should work. Let's use this to hold this down and then bend it. No, it's too much on that side. Bend it back. Okay, it's falling over that way. So let's bend it back over here. Insolent horse. I might just be able to just get it close. Right. McColdy draw. And this one here. And this is what's going to get me excited about painting them. The heraldry that's on the horses. Yay! Ah, uh, well, that's close enough. There we go. That's what you want. You just want to be close enough so when you put the super glue down, it doesn't misbehave and fall over at the wrong minute. Not that I can't fix it. It's just, why should I fix it? Do it right the first time. Close enough. It's the bad one. Again, I hate knights, but I love painting them. These guys are probably going to leave me in the lurch, guaranteed. Let's see how bendy these lances are. 
and if I can handle continuing to use them. So I'd hate to spend all the effort into building these guys. And then two games in, the lance breaks. Because I'll replace them with lances that are straight. I don't care if they're not tapered. Doesn't bother me that much. These things are tapered more than they would be in real life anyway. So they're out of scale. So. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know why Facebook compressed JPEG files. Yeah. Like this view, you get to see more of what I'm doing. I'll shoot back in a few minutes. Okay. Good night. Good night, Poland. You like this view? Okay. Well, we'll do this view uh, next time. Maybe we'll mix it up. Good helmet for somebody who has a really long pointy nose because that's kind of what it looks like. It's a really long pointy helm. Okay, this guy. I think these lances will be okay. I kept the original lances on the Hungarian knights that I did with my Hungarians, and they haven't really given me any any problems. So, okay. So we started off with a rainy day today, and then it turned into a hot one. Well, it's in the 70s. 73, 74, 75, something like that. Take a look at these guys and see how much flash are on these particular figures. Wow, he's got a whole crest of flash. Crest of flash. I gotta go grocery store shopping today, and I think I'm gonna do it while the Super Bowl's on. Shouldn't be anybody there. I don't know, that stuff's not really big in this town. We're big on college sports. I don't watch any of the stuff, but NFL stuff's not really big in this town. And it got to the point many years ago, I think the last Super Bowl that I watched was when I was working on my feudal Spanish, like around 2004, 2005. Because so I remember painting the flag in between stuff. I was watching it for the commercials, and I realized, oh, I can watch the commercials. 
the next morning. And now I think you can see them the same time as they happen. And I think the last last couple years, I haven't, I haven't even watched the commercials. They've sucked so bad. You know? I mean, just show me the Doritos commercial. They're the ones that have the best commercials. The rest of the stuff stinks. You'd think as much as they pay for them, they would do a better job with them, but... I think this with this being as hard as it is, we need to get the file back out. File this down. Let me move this off to the side here. Nine folks. Awesome. I think now is probably a good time to take this and move my happy ass down here to the corner and then lock it back up. I think it's less in the way there. This lance is really pretty rough. It's got a lot of flash and you don't want to put pressure on it. So I'm trying to maybe stabilize it against the bottom and just scrape off of one side and see if we can take the, the line off of it. I don't think I'm going to have to replace these, which is good because it's kind of tapered and I hate to lose that taper on there. I've had these nights help almost 15 years, probably never done a damn thing with them. So. And I got a set of files, but man, I just don't have good luck with files. I'm better off doing it like this. I have. It won't be that noticeable. You know, taking the flash off figures, that shouldn't be my responsibility. The manufacturer should do a better job casting their figures. All right, we'll call this guy done. Let's do the other one that's in the same pose. You're back. You missed it. Nothing. You didn't miss anything. You'll never believe what happened. What? Well, I'd tell you, but you wouldn't believe me, so... Okay, now these two guys with the lances sticking out, and they've all, it's probably okay if they get bent once, it's if they get bent back and forth and back and forth and back and forth when you got issues with them. This is actually a pretty cool pose. Get ready to slam into somebody. Making kielbasa. Send his ass in.
section. The nice, these are nice, these are nice figures. This is a nice pose. You know, the fact that he doesn't have a different horse, one less step I gotta do. One less step I gotta do. So this same assortment of different figures that I used here, um, if I build a later pole army, I will continue using the same kind of assortment for the all. That's why I didn't want to use all of these figures because uh, I'm going to need some of them to make the other. Well, they have a lot of knights. They can have, I think, like six or something like that. So they, half of them would be done then. So I'm going to leave some variety to make the rest of the stands. Okay. Yeah, I got a metal file set, but man, they're just they're just too even the smallest ones, they're just too large to do this kind of stuff. And they're pretty small, but they're still too big. Oh, let's see what we got here. Spend a lot of time customizing each fit. I don't want to remove flash as well. It's a waste of time, man. It makes priming seem fun. Alright. So one of the few things I use super glue for is to base these guys on the, oh, we actually have to do these separately because the riders for the Essex get epoxied on the horses, but the horse actually gets super glued on the stand. So those guys are the flimsiest. So I'm gonna grab the stands that look like they have the best, smoothest gluing surface and reserve those for the five Essex horses. This is one of them, it's totally smooth. This is another one, this is another one. That one's okay, and probably this one. What? Oh, oh, I'm missing one. It's like, there's not enough here. Okay. So, we're just gonna put a dab. This is just ultra gel. Oh, geez, and it's almost out. I got plenty, I got plenty other ones. Just put a big, Squirt there. And the advantage this has is after it dries, when you pop this horse off, you've actually taken his small stand and you made it a little bit bigger. So it gives you a better sur gluing surface for the next stage. Okay, now, yeah, these guys are gonna be, these guys are gonna be pain in the ass. Pain in the ass, all right, here goes. Hopefully I won't have to resort to epoxying them down temporarily. I guess I could use the, um, the sticky stuff, what's it called, the temporary stick. But I don't want it to fall in the middle of painting. All kinds of bad stuff could happen. Um, this guy. Squish that down. Good. So if it falls over, it's not a big deal. It's just, oh, this guy's, this guy's, that one's good. That one's not flimsy. How about this guy? Is he flimsy? Yeah. He's all fruity and stuff. Let's get this, let's glue this guy down. Oops. All it took was a little bit of resistance. They were close enough to the center of gravity. Oh, run your mouth about it. <laughs> really? You're going to be that kind of a... Troublemaker? All you gotta do is get close to the center of gravity. Okay, so that's the, that's the horses of those. And then the other four, where I put the glue at? I wasn't done with it. 
Damn it, man. Do you know why bases are called stands? I don't. I have no idea. That's a good question. They really should be called units. You know, if units are vague. They could be of any amount of any amount of troops. I don't know why they're called stands. Do you? It's a good question. Yes, do go on. Or you're asking me because you thought I had a clue. I don't have a clue about that. That's a good question. Never thought about it. Stay there. Good boy. You know, if you have, if you have a base like I'm trying to glue and it's not perfectly level, so in other words, if it wobbles from side to side, so instead of putting it like this side to side, just put it this way. And I've done that before. Okay. These guys are... to the side over here. I think it's because the miniatures stand on them. I don't know. I don't have a clue. It's a good question. I do not know. I know not. Now, are there two horses that are the same in here? I can't remember if they are. are those, no. No, they're all different. Okay. If there were two of the same, I'd make sure that two of the figures that are the same wouldn't be on those two horses. That would be ironic. Back in the day, gamers such as they were, game mostly with flats. Flats don't stand up well. Gamers made them stand by placing them in slaughter bases called stands. Wow. I've seen some... That's well before my time. I've seen some um, flats before painted... And they're beautiful. Um, they um, they definitely are good looking figures, and they almost look three dimensional. Well, whoever painted them obviously was a pro painting them. It wasn't you know somebody's first outing. Who was the Polish axeman? If I got to order a um, a commander for my Moldavian, I'm going to order the Polish axeman before I look through the sixty pound bag of lead and see if I have them. You know. Okay, are these guys hard enough? I think so. Okay. Let's get Let's get these guys down in here. You guys all going to watch the Super Bowl or or not? It's funny. I know Lots of people that are football fans. Nobody wants to play football video games. I like those. I like the football. I like Madden and stuff like that. But they do get into them. They play completely unrealistic. Throwing like freaking Hail Marys every single play. It's just... Silly sports fan. That should be enough. We just need to glue five guys down in a saddle. This will keep them from popping off unexpectedly. Is this the stinky one? Oh, yeah, this is the stinky one. You know, when you use paint that has no smell, when you use all these things that have basically zero smell, and, um, and then you use a product that has a smell, it all, it's almost like becomes a lot stronger than it. It should. And we're just spoiled by using all these products that they have now that are... You could almost eat them and you'd be okay. 
Your taste buds wouldn't like you, but you're not going to go to the hospital. Not that I recommend you do any of that stuff, but you know where I'm getting at. I'm actually going to wait for that to har harden up a little bit. And um, paid it almost nothing but flat. My best buddy since since gone painting painted almost nothing but flats. Huh? Where do you get them? I guess there's probably somebody online and get them. No Super Bowl for me. I'm a lot of lost line into the game last few years. Just don't care. Waste my time with a rig sport. To the refs or professional refs, I won't watch. Hmm. Found out the refs can legally gamble on the games. So that's a no-go for me, really. Huh. I used to watch way back in the day. Because when I lived alone, I had no cable and everything. I used to watch Monday Night Football every Monday in the early 90s. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like a war. I mean, it was, it was entertaining. You know, what? It was educational. Okay. Well, I set that guy on there, so that's the horse he's going to be on. Screw this guy and the horse he rode in on. Well, it's right here. You know, movie, movie. Uh huh. That's why I wanted to wait for that to dry a little bit. We can adjust him in a little bit. That's a wild pose, so we'll leave it for last. Um, let's do this one. This is a more traditional. You have another one of those helm guys? Yeah, okay. So let's put him on. This horse. Look, he doesn't move there, so it would have been fine to put him on there. Let's glue this. Let's put that between his legs. Woo! He's going to be awfully constipated. Dreadfully constipated. These guys are going to leave me hanging in battle. I know it. I know you damn knights. I know how you are. But they're going to look good doing it. Which I guess is more important. <laughs> and this is a similar pose to this one. And this is, is the same figure as that one. So we'll put him on this, this horse and put this fellow on this other one. Just for variety. And this is 10 minute epoxy. I've thought about I've thought one time like maybe I should buy some five minute epoxy. We're not even gonna glue him yet. Let's see if we got any new comments. Da. Used to watch football until about two years ago. You know why I stopped. I know why you stopped. And you didn't have to tell me. Yep. Yeah. Somebody asked me a little while ago. I said, "You gonna watch the? You gonna watch football?" I said, "If I wanted to see people kneel, I'd go to church." <laughs> that's the wrong time to bring it. That's the wrong time in the wrong manner to bring attention to whatever it is that you want to bring attention to. So. Okay. Okay. You were just like a weenie. You were just a fall down, fall down in your saddle weenie. All right. There we 
it go. Give it a little bit more mass of that glue. Good, good. I think this guy's half fallen down too. I think I just need to give it a little bit more. Well, now it's pretty. So let's just take one of these glue boogers, as I like to call them. Put it underneath there. Make a squishy in his seat. Ooh. I think we're good. So they should mix in well with these other guys. I mix in all kinds of different knights on the stand and um, hit the nail on the head. Yep. These are the nine Polish knights. How long have we been on here? An hour and a half. Boy, I thought I was going to be on here a lot shorter than that. So, okay, let me uh, let me let me stop for one moment. Check on one thing. Okay, we're back. Let's see. Uh, okay, so I think we're... Did any of these guys shift? You, any of you shifty bastards? Uh, you cantankerous. Mm 
and he's leaning, leaning forward a little bit, which is probably not bad because the horse is kind of leaning forward. He should be fine. And everybody else stood. No, that guy's leaning back because the horse is leaning back. No, we should be good. Okay, so that's, uh, that. yeah, we put these guys together. And of course, we're not going to work on them anytime. Well, it's not true. We may black base them soon. But that's the nine knights that are going to go on the three stands for the allies. Of course, the allies are when you use the Moldavians. And I'm probably going to order a Moldavian commander, you know, the axemen and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I don't give a sh I don't, I don't care if there's a, a huge sale on the figures. I'm just going to order the two packs that I need and, you know, call it a day. So, anyhow, thanks for coming by and uh, hanging with me. And uh, I'm glad you like this top view. And uh, maybe we can, um, maybe we can mix it around and use this one a little bit more. I'm not really happy with it only because the resolution is garbage. Let me look at the other screen and see if it looks better. Or nah, it still looks like garbage, unfortunately. But, um, but anyhow, thanks for coming by. I appreciate, guys, I appreciate your guys' company. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. We're kind of on a roll. And I want to keep the momentum going on these, um, on these troops. I'm really enjoying the, the progress I've been making. And... You know, I don't want to work on the next army, and it's not going to happen until these guys are complete. So, um, thanks, Randy, for coming by, and the rest of you, as always, you guys uh, join me quite a bit this weekend. We'll try to get out here again during the week um, a couple times, and I think I certainly benefit from it. And um, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Happy the rest of your Sunday, and... Um, Hopefully things go well for you during the work week. And uh, on Tuesday is when we're going to be playing. We're going to do a... We're doing an Italian theme. The idea is to bring an Italian theme uh, game. So we're going um, it's to... It's a post Valentine's Day. Uh, Joe's coming down and he's planning on using his Italian cantata. So we're going to play enemies of the Italian cantata. That's the plan. So I'll be using my, my winless Hungarians... And I'm sure they'll lose all both games. It's supposed to be just three of us. So we'll see. We'll see if Scott makes it. If not, it will be, you know, four of us. But that's what the plan is is at this moment. Um, and, um, yeah. What's the worst thing that could happen? Lose three more games with the Hungarians. Hey, at least they'll look good losing. <laughs> Until next time, folks. Thanks for coming by. 